Hello and welcome to CIA. My name is Mayank and in this video I am going to show you how to use search and filter options on Motic List APIs. So List APIs you can use for any of the entity. For example, you can use it for context, you can use it for companies, you can use it for uh, campaigns. Right? So it is available for uh, multiple uh, APIs but basic operations are almost all the same. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, use the contact uh, object to show you how it is working and uh, then in the contact there are two certain uh, parameters which are advanced parameters like where and order. So in this video I will not include where and order for them I will create a separate video but in this screencast we will see the basic operations like start limit order by dir is like direction published only and minimal. So okay, let's get started. So uh, I have already demonstrated how to set up your API credentials, how to use them. And uh, if you have not seen that, uh, you can go back and uh, check out other videos. I will uh, leave the link in description. So first of all, let me go to Natan interface. So this is my Natan interface and uh, I have basically uh, set up the basic API. And uh, what I have done here is, as you can see, um, so first, uh, this is a GET request. I have uh, used the credentials. I set up the credentials for Motic OAuth 2 API here. And uh, if I show you, what I've done is I've added this URL uh, in the uh, Motic API credentials part and use the client ID and client secret with the URL of my Motic instance in uh, Natan. And after that, I just saved the credentials and uh, I've told you in previous video, again, let me recap. Uh, but when, when you are making a request, you need to use the base URL of your Motic and then you need to append the API at the end of it. And then finally you add the endpoint. So this last part is called endpoint. So if I go to Motic developer documentation, like you can see here, so uh, it only shows you the endpoint. And if I want to get a single contact, so if I go to this, uh, you can see this is context and ID. So if it is uh, written like this with caps or something ID, uh, it, it doesn't mean that you need to pass it like, you know, this ID, what you need to pass here is, uh, for example, one, two, three, or whatever ID is there for your contact or any other object. For example, if I go in the contact sections, so if I uh, need to get this contact, I need to copy this ID and put it here and then I need to just execute this request. Uh, get ID is also for the same kind of request. So as you can see, I only got one contact and uh, all this, uh, all the other informations about this contact, like first name, last name and so on. Okay, so let's get back to the list API. Um, I will remove the ID from here. And first of all, let's go with the default and just execute this node. Okay, so I have executed the node and you can see the output data is there. I will just click on show data anyways. Uh, okay, so we have received uh, information. Uh, it is showing you the how much uh, is the total number. Then uh, we have contacts in contact. It is showing you that there are 30 objects. That means by default, if you have not passed any other parameter, Nathan will give you, uh, sorry, Motic will give you 30 objects by default. Okay, so if I uh, see the structure, the structure is like this is the ID of your uh, contact and this is the uh, further details about this contact. So as you can see, other fields are like point, date, last active, title and whether, whatever information is there, including first name, last name and so on. Um, so uh, let's start with the uh, filter part now. So let me show you first uh, what is the meaning of like uh, search. So if I want, let's say I want to search with a name. So like my or something, I just need to pass the search term by appending it to the URL and then is equal to, let's say I pass my So now if I execute it again, let it load the data and you will see that now it has, it returned 17 items. And I was uh, first surprised because I was thinking uh, the name is not my but uh, if you see, this is the uh, dummy contact that I use for testing sometimes. So you can see this uh, email contains the uh, term that I put, my So that's why it has returned me this email. 
okay so let me just remove the search part and let's move on to the next one so next one we have is start and limit so let me just execute again without all the parameters and uh, then you will understand why i'm talking about start and limit part and now uh, you see that even though it returned 30 keys which is by default if i don't pass any limit it will just give me 30 uh, records per page okay like you can see in this uh, documentation getting back there uh, but the order of these contact is not uh, in, in in kind of order so if you see uh, this is a random kind of order and it is picking it up from anywhere right so uh, i don't want this i want a proper uh, uh, ordering so what i want to do is i want my contact to be uh, to start from uh, let's say lowest id so i will uh, put the start uh, at zero and i only want not all of them uh, which is by default like 30 uh, but let's say i only want five of them so and limit will be of five items so five object or five contact should be returned starting from the minimal uh, 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 starting from the first item so in this case it was just using uh, motix default uh, ordering so execute node so out of all the items it is ret returning me uh, these first five items which it is encountering and how it is uh, ordering it by default it is ordering by date modified kind of thing as you can see this uh, 7 12 22 and uh, then if i go 7 12 22 and so on right so uh, by default it is ordering based on last modified date or last when this contact was probably active or there was some change uh, changes made to this contact but i don't want that i want my contacts to be ordered in an id way okay so let's see uh, so we have uh, this this order of id and uh, to obtain this order what we need to do is we need to pass this parameter called order by and then uh, after this we have order by direction also so first let's put the order by and by default direction is always ascending uh, okay so let me put order by and i want this ordered by id okay id is the field uh, so this field and uh, it, it is passed in the small letters or a small case so execute node and you can see now this is coming in the order of id so still passing me five elements but ordered by id so next option like i said uh, next option is order by direction so by default as you can see this is ordered by a sending order if i want this in opposite direction so i will just pass this uh, parameter and put desc for descending then execute now you will get them in descending order it is not uh, giving you like first five items but it is uh, completely putting the order from behind like uh, which is the maximum id available from there it is picking up and showing you in descending order next one is published only and minimal actually published only will uh, probably not work on contacts because the contacts are like always kind of published so for published only i will use the email um, email endpoint but let's check out the minimal i will pass it like uh, key and value pair so let's keep it structured and pass it as uh, a key and value pair and notice what happens here in this one what i have is we have all the fields then we have ip addresses then we have tags utm tags and so on like all the list possible lists and uh, details are returned here but after i put the minimal is equal to true and execute this node what it will provide me is it only provided me the main element main uh, main main attribute of the elements and the fields so you can notice that all the other uh, things are gone like ip address or uh, whatever utm tags and so on was there it is gone so if you want just a minimalistic object return from motic api then you set the flag minimal is equal to true so basically you need to pass key value pair and uh, that's how it will work okay so like i said for the published only we will go to uh, another endpoint and uh, let me see i can probably use the um, what we have uh, we have some campaigns and uh, 
uh, as you can see we i have one campaign which is not published and rest of them are published so let me use the campaign endpoint and copy so all the other parameters uh, will work here also so campaigns i will uh, use start and limit also order by id i will keep it order by id um, and let's see so this deactivated one is the maximum one so i will keep it order by id but descending so instead of ascending i will keep it descending and minimal so let's uh, just try out the call first execute uh, okay, I'm trying to order by ID with descending, but uh, I'm not really sure why it is coming like 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17, even though 17 is like false. And uh, if I check in the UI, uh, as you can see, if I do order descending like this, then it should be like 16, 15, 14 and 13. But uh, somehow it is uh, taking it like 13 to 17 um in ascending order that's strange i'm getting here is uh 13 14 15 and 16 are published and 17 is not published so i want to pass another parameter called published and i will keep it uh like true okay and then execute it again and now as you can see it gave me 12 13 14 15 but did not give me 17 uh, so this is uh, uh, where i will uh, leave you for this video and uh, i hope i was able to uh, convey the message properly and uh, i was able to explain it properly so if you found this video helpful please uh, like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, do not forget to subscribe the channel because uh, i will come up with more content not on this uh, motic platform but on other platforms also so uh, thank you so much see you in the next video